It seems like every single time I start filming, there's a lot of noise in here. Um, nobody wants me to be great. I don't know what's happening. <sighs> as soon as I start filming, the heat wanna come on. Anyway, anywho, anyhow. I mean, what can I do? This is the life I signed up for, so let's just get to it, okay? Rainbows, sunshine, everywhere I go Rainbows, sunshine, everywhere So I just received this wig from Cute Fairy I haven't opened it yet, but I already know what it is So, inside of the package, it gave me a wig cap I feel like I got about 12 of those now Here is the wig inside of the pack Let's open her up Brush out of the pack. This is what she's giving. She is a 12 inch skunk styled 13 by 4 wig. Look at this color. She's pretty. She got highlights. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. I am so happy right now. This is a full 13 by 4. Look at that. Full straight across the head. You see that? Full. There's nothing at the top. Look at that. These knots, I, I don't see them. I don't see the knots. I am so impressed. Oh my God, look at that. They're like non-existent. The lace is light. I need to get a close up so y'all can really see what I'm talking about. And it's pre-plucked, bleached. I want to put this on my head real quick so y'all can see what I'm talking about. parting space there is there's still a parting space back there i'm literally so impressed i think the only issue i'm having right now is that it's not like super thick i guess that'll be the only issue is that i'm about to customize this i'm probably just going to pluck it because it looks as if the knots are already pre-bleached so i'm just going to go ahead and customize it do the press and comb, cut it to a nice fine straight bob, do some layers on it. So let's just get into it, okay? So going straight in, I had just wanted to see, let you guys see a better view of how the knots were looking. And I'm not really like an expert at plucking as of yet, but I kind of like to pluck it very lightly i'm not like big on like elaborate plucking just yet like baby steps okay <laughs> but um yeah i had so much fun customizing this wig i didn't know how it was going to turn out but i do know when it comes to a bob i am going to cut it like i, I don't like 12 inch hair it's just like pointless to me unless you're going to curl it and I was not finna curl this hair. I really love bobs. Like, that is by far my favorite hairstyle. So, I definitely had to go in with those scissors. I changed out the scissors um, during this uh, cutting session. But I ended up buying some new uh, scissors. And I wish I would have used them on this because those scissors are super, super sharp. And as you guys can see, I'm just going in cutting where I see 
you know, that it needs to be cut a little bit straighter and um, just got those fine lines. And it came out really, really good. I was super surprised. Well, actually, I wasn't because I love cutting bobs. Um, I'm definitely going to have to invest in some liner clippers. I can't wait to try that out. That's going to be <laughs> a whole experiment in itself. So moving on, I went ahead and used my Criminature Argan Oil. This is the heat protecting spray. I love this spray. I always use this when it comes to flat iron my hair because this leaves a lightweight film without weighing it down and it also keeps it super super bouncy so i didn't really flat iron this too much um because as you can see the hair was already bouncy and straight so i went in and did it like a light flat iron chasing method nothing too spectacular or different <laughs> and uh once i finished that uh i was i got a little scissor happy at the end it wasn't supposed to be a bang bob let me just say that right now <laughs> she was not supposed to be a bang bob she was supposed to be just like this super cute and super bouncy i wanted a little layer like a feather effect and i used this little scissor comb right here and baby, if you're not an expert at this comb, please, 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 by all means, be careful and take your time. Don't use the uh, wide suit side like I did. So I cut this wrong. So I think I'm gonna put it in a bang. I haven't had a bang wig in a while. So I think I'm gonna do a bang and let's see how it looks. So yeah, you guys see, I am cutting this bang. Now I haven't had a bang in a very long time, but I just felt like, shoot, the, the layers was not layering. Okay, we're going to have to fix this like ASAP. And I'm so glad that I'm really good at improvising because a bang definitely came in handy. And it was super cute. I'm super, I'm sorry, I'm super. <laughs> I'm happy that it, I actually did a bang because it came out super cute. I ended up spraying that Got to Be Glue spray to keep the top flyaways down because I don't know what was going on up there, but I'm like, sis, need to lay down. And I just went in and cut it a little bit more, giving it like a framing, like framing cutting. Is that how you say it? Like you framing the face to allow the bang to not just look like a straight across bang. I went ahead and cut it properly. And she turned out cute. I went ahead and put it on my head to adjust it and made sure that she was giving, honey. And it gave, look at it, super cute, bomb. I was like so happy with the way it turned out. I don't know about you, but that ginger brown, oh honey, it gave me my entire life and some, okay? So it's time to glue her down. I went ahead and cleaned the surface of my hairline with the skin protecting glue box, skin protecting spray by Boho and then the, uh, the micellular water. I always use this before I put on any other product uh on my head and then i use that boho active glue i believe i did about three or two layers i'm not sure but i think i did about three most likely knowing me i did about three layers of this glue i, I love this rat tail comb right here for applying the glue because it allows me to take some of that glue off as i'm like smearing it on and also it it helps me allow helps me spread the uh glue thin so that way the the glue can look like that nice and clear and before you apply another layer please make sure that that first layer is clear so that way you won't have to have that gooky you know like uh effect that has the lace looking really clumpy after a while and then also the uh the hair won't slide back or come off as easy and it'll um acts as a long lasting you know wig wear <laughs> i'm like long lasting what wig wear girl <laughs> so i went ahead and let that dry then i went ahead and put it on i don't know why you know having bang wigs just like don't i don't know I, let me just say this having a bang with a lace frontal is like really pointless because you're not going to see the lace but honey you saw the lace on this one because the wind was blowing and that bang was pushed back 
and you were able to see it <laughs> but i went ahead and put tinted the lace a little bit with my foundation off camera and then i went ahead and put my elastic band on and allowed that glue to sit in So this is the next day. I know I went to sleep and um, I think it's like 9.30. Every single time when I wear a bob, this side still remains the same. This side I always get like Laura Farquhar. But what I'm gonna do is I'm about to flat iron this little side right here, get my bang together. But before I do any of that, I am about to cut the lace. I let it sit overnight and she's nice and laid. So we're gonna just go ahead and cut it so we can get started on the rest of this hair. So I always mention do not be alarmed about how the lace looked because I'm always going to fix it no matter how it looks in the beginning. I realized that I had glued it, well not glued it, sprayed the spray a little bit too far down so I cut the lace just a little bit back. I like to get as close as possible to the uh, hair as I possibly can. This side came out okay. It's just like little pieces and little parts that I can just like glue down. I actually been using my hard head uh, spray. And I really love how this gets the hair like nice and melted. So I have my blow dryer here ready to go. And before I add any foundation, I'm just going to make sure that everything is nice and secure before I do that. So I'm just going to spray like these little pieces right here. Uh oh, I was so off target. Oh, and like I said on my last video, cool air only, okay? Okay, as you can see, let me zoom you guys in. Look at how that spray melted into that lace. I have to put foundation here and as well as here, but no worries. Like I said, it's going to melt, but it's locked in, okay? I want to spray a little bit more like right here because the lace is lifting just a teach. I'm just gonna spray a tiny bit right here. And I'm just gonna lock that in. Everything is nice and seamless. Everything is nice and seamless. And once I put that foundation on, everything else is gonna look good. So I got my brush, got my foundation. Let's see what it's gonna give, okay? So you don't wanna put too much foundation because foundation does have oil in it. So let's start on this side right here. And as you can tell, I'm just like lightly brushing this in. I'm trying not to do it too much. You do not want to pile it on. You just want to make sure that you have enough on that brush and you're not excessively, you know, um, putting that on. Thank God this is matte made, so it's oil, oil control. So if you do use a foundation for your lace, please make sure that it's matte made. So that way it can be oil controlled and it won't have your lace sliding back. So I want to put a little bit more right here on the edges. Let's do that right here. I like to use my fingers because my fingers are a little warm. And then I'm just spraying just to secure it and we want to be extra sure that it's locked in. Okay, so that is the lace. If it's even there. It's so tight. So now I'm gonna brush out the bang and get back right. So that is the end of this tutorial. I am so happy 
with how she turned out. I haven't had a bang in so long. She is like flowing. Stiff wear. I don't know, but not here. But I am so grateful with how this turned out. It turned out so beautiful. It took a little manipulating with the bang, trying to get it flat because I did sleep on it. So that was, you know, a given. I don't know how it's going to look when I put my glasses on, but I'm pretty sure it's still going to look just as good because my glasses kind of like match. So it's going to be cute regardless. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. As always, please feel free to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. And as always, nevertheless, never stressed, always blessed. Okay, bye. <laughs>